Definitely, that 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 that's the legacy that Robredo left behind at the OVP, and actually, she she said that the three goals for for her te- for herself and for the her team at the OVP when she started her term una daw is one to turn the 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 office of the VP from a mere ceremonial office into an advocacy driven one and we know that meron siya mga programs hindi lang the usual medical assistance eh, tinuloy niya yun so tinuloy niya yung mga magagandang projects ni Binay at dinagdagan pa which is something that we want our our leaders actually to do build on and expand the good projects of your predecessor kahit hindi mo man lang kahit hindi mo sila kaalyado politically. Uh, number two, Robredo also took pride that she was able to shield uh, or move the move away from politics yung activities ng OVP. On one hand, that's good because then you know that the angat buhay, um, the way angat buhay targeted communities was not because they were vote rich, but because these were the communities that really needed the assistance. Pero if you look at it politically, naging... Um, naging downside din yon for Robredo when she ran her presidential campaign because the Angat Buhay Network could have been a very, very good sleeper cell eh for for her campaign, pero hindi niya ginamit. Yeah. And number three, another legacy of, of Robredo is she also professionalized the OVP. Very particular siya na whenever they would get the highest uh, uh, audit rating, the unqualified opinion from from COA and and in and, and in government kasi kahit sa mga mayor sa mga governors they take pride in that because it means walang problema sa mga finances financial transactions nila their uh their bidding process usually diyan nakakahanap ng anomalya di ba diyan yung iniimbestigahan ng ng sindikan pa ng ombudsman um nagawa yun ng OVP for her last four four years in office, four out of six years. Ibig sabihin, yung two years yun, syempre inayos nila whatever that needed to be fixed. And I think that's really the legacy of Lenny Robredo, um, uh, making the OVP advocacy-driven yeah. uh, and professionalizing the ranks of, of the OVP. 